New to WhatsApp and need some help getting started? I'm Jessica from techboomers.com and this video will be our beginner's guide to WhatsApp where I'll teach you all the basics of using the app. Now let's get started. If you haven't installed WhatsApp yet, check out our tutorial on how to download the app on your smartphone. Then watch our tutorial on how to sign up for a WhatsApp account. Both of these videos will be linked in the description box below. The first thing you're likely wanting to do after setting up your profile is to add contacts you'd like to communicate with through WhatsApp. Since WhatsApp is set up using your phone number, all you need to be able to add a contact is to have their cell phone number. Start a new conversation by tapping the chat icon in the top right corner. You'll then be able to see your contacts that are using WhatsApp. Tap the name of the contact you'd like to chat with or type their name in the search bar at the top. If you want to add someone on WhatsApp who is not saved in your device's contact list, tap New Contact at the top. Then type in their name and phone number. Tap Save to add them. You can also have group chats on WhatsApp. If you want to make a group chat, tap New Group. Then select the contacts you want to chat with. A chat window with the contact or group of contacts you've selected will then be opened. To send a message in your WhatsApp chat, type a message in the text box above your keyboard. Tap the blue arrow on the right to send your message. If you tap the plus sign on the left, you can share pictures or videos, documents, your location, or a contact's information. Once you've selected the image, document, etc. that you want to attach, tap the blue send button to share it in your chat. You can also access the option to create polls by tapping the plus sign. This feature is super helpful when trying to make decisions in a group chat. Type in your question and answer options. If you like, you can allow people to select multiple answers. If the switch is green, multiple answers are allowed. If the switch is gray, people can only select one answer. When you're done, send the poll in your chat. The other people in the chat will be able to select the answer they'd like to go with, and everyone in the chat can see the results. If you tap the sticker icon on the right side of the text box, you'll see a menu appear with fun stickers and animated GIFs. By default, you'll only have a few sticker options available, but you can download more by tapping the plus sign at the top right corner of the sticker window. Tap the download icon beside any sticker pack you'd like to download. Swipe down to close the sticker download menu. If you're using an iPhone, you'll also see stickers with your Memoji here if you have a Memoji set up. Once you've downloaded multiple sticker packs, you can switch between them by tapping the icons along the top of the sticker window. Tap a sticker to send it in your chat. If you'd like to add a sticker to your favorites, tap and hold on a sticker, then tap Add to Favorites. Your favorite stickers can be accessed by tapping the star icon. Within this window, you can also find fun animated GIFs to send in your chats. Unlike stickers, these don't send as soon as you tap them, so you can tap a GIF and watch it all the way through before deciding if you want to send it. You can send voice messages by holding down the microphone icon. Release the microphone icon to stop recording and your voice message will be sent automatically. If you're recording and you decide you don't want to send your message, swipe your finger to the left to cancel it and delete your recording. Another cool feature of WhatsApp is that you can use it for free voice and video calls. To call one of your friends through WhatsApp, you can tap the phone icon in the top right corner of your chat to start an audio call, or the video camera icon to start a video call. You can also tap Calls in the bottom menu, then tap the New Call icon in the top right corner. Starting a call this way works the same as starting a new chat. Simply scroll to the name of the contact you'd like to call, then tap the phone to start an audio-only call or the video camera to start a video call. You can make group calls by selecting New Group Call, tapping the names of the contacts you want to include, and then tap the icon for either an audio call or a video call. You can have up to 32 people in a group call at one time. Check out our tutorial on WhatsApp group calls to learn more. We'll have it linked in the description section below. WhatsApp also allows users to share status updates, which work quite similarly to the Stories feature on other social media apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. Tap Status in the bottom menu to get there. You can post photos, videos, or text posts on your WhatsApp status. 
To share a photo or video, tap the camera icon beside My Status. This will open a camera window where you can capture a new photo by tapping the circle icon at the bottom, or a video by holding down the circle icon. You can also upload images from your device's camera roll. Scroll sideways to see more of your saved images, or swipe up to see all your albums. Tap an image to select it. Then add a caption to your status and tap the blue send icon to share it. To share a text post to your status, tap the pencil icon. Type in what you'd like to say. In text statuses, you can share clickable links to websites, YouTube videos, or your social media profiles. Change the color of the background for your text post by tapping the color palette icon in the top right corner. Change the font by tapping the T icon. When you're done, tap the blue send button to share it. A newer addition to WhatsApp is the communities feature. Communities are a more advanced type of group chat where you can invite people in your neighborhood, at your workplace, or another organized group to all participate. This is a great way to keep in touch with your community and stay updated with things that are going on. Tap Start a Community to create your own. Give your group a name and type in a description for the purpose of the group. Then tap Create Community. You can then invite any of your contacts to join the group or generate an invite link to send through text message, email, or through social media. If you've been invited to join an existing community, tap the link you were sent to open that community in WhatsApp and get started as a new member. That does it for our beginner's guide to WhatsApp. To learn more about specific WhatsApp features and tips and tricks, check out our playlist of WhatsApp tutorials. We'll have it linked in the description box below, as well as a clickable link on the end card. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one every week.